welcome back to another Slime Fun Tips and Tricks episode with your host, Boomer. We are taking a break today from pretending to be Iron Man and flying around the world. Instead, we've got a real basic tip for you. A lot of people don't realize that this is in the game. Now, we talked last episode about getting started and how to start to develop your Slime Fun base, the basic machines you need, what you should unlock first. My recommendation will always, always be install automation as soon as you possibly can. The faster you can get things running on their own, the faster you can get up and running. So don't save all of your resources to build a nuclear reactor when you don't even have an ore grinder built yet. Get automation going off the bat. So you need three things, right? You need a power regulator, you need a power source, and you need a cobble generator. Those are the first three things you need to get up and running. But once you're past that, then you've got to set up your dust system. So you're going to want to have ore grinders, gold pans, and dust washers. You're going to need to get some network nodes to be able to put together. Now, you wonder, what does it cost to build something, right? Let's say I want to build, oh, I don't know, let's go under electricity. And let's take a look and see. Yeah, let's talk, um, well, you said gold pan, Boomer, right? So let's look at a gold pan. What do I need? Three aluminum ingot, two flint, a motor, a gold pan. What's involved with a motor? Well, there's this, there's that, there's all this stuff. I'll tell you what, there's got to be a simpler way than going through all of the levels of the menu to assemble something as simple as a motor, right? There is. It's called SF Calc. In other words, it's a slime fun calculator. It'll tell you what you need for terms of resources to build a specific item. Now, I will say it's not 100%, but it's pretty darn close. Um, anything that involves copper wire, you tend to be required to get more resources than you need. But I would rather have more than not enough. So let's say Slime Fun Calc. I want to, let's see, where is it? Here we go. Let's do electric dust washer. Let's start with that because, you know, we're going to use those. So the level one dust washer. I need a water bucket, I need a bowl, two flint, three redstone dust, five stone, six aluminum dust, six sulfate, six zinc, 12 iron ingot, 21 iron dust, and 45 copper dust. Again, that might be slightly high only because if I've got to make um, copper wire, the recipe isn't quite right. But again, I'd rather bring more to the table than I need and put the resources back than start crafting this and find out I come up short. So what if I wanted to do, let's say, instead of that, I want to start with an ingot factory. Electric. Well, I can type. Electric. Let's see. Furnace, gold pan, ingot factory. Let's do, I want the fastest ingot factory I can make, which is not a great idea to shoot for out of the gate. You're better off going for a level one. Now you take a look at this, and all of a sudden you see the first thing. Oh, another star. Great. I got a long way to go. Or, uh, let's see, how much coal? 544 coal. That tells me there could be a carbonado in there. Okay? So, you can see 36 tiny piles of uranium. Yeah, we've got, we've got some very powerful blistering ingots in this thing. 405 copper dust. I know that is incorrect. It's nowhere near that. But again, it's off a little bit. It's probably much, much lower than that. So... When you're getting started and you want to figure out what does it take, you can go through every level of the Slime Fun Guide's menu and try to find it all and list it down on paper and total it all up. Or you can use the SF Calc and at least be about 98% accurate. Again, if you bring a couple extra resources to the table, so what? You always put them back, save them for the next crafting feature. But this will save you a lot of time, effort, and headache. And guys, Iron Man's going back to business. We'll see you later.